How we talking about that, bro? You shoot movies now. Yeah, yeah. How did you get to that point? How did you get to the transition from the rap shit to the movies? Because I was told this how you got to do it. You can't rap forever. You got to transition. Right. You got to transition. And it's like with the movies, ain't no age limit on movies. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's roles for everybody. You be an 80-year-old man. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You, ain't, you, you ain't never too old to act. Um, I was watching my homie Cole Steele movie. Oh, Where can I get some? Okay. And I'm laying in the bed with my wife, and I'm like, ah, right after you go, let me take it back. <laughs> my gaps told me, man, bro, you need to do movies, bro. You know I mean, that's Mike, that's like the legendary Mike Gaps, yeah, right? Mike Gaps, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's my man. Day Day. Day Day. That's All my right. brother. Yeah, that's okay. my brother. He tell me, he said, man, you need to get off into movies. You say Detroit killing it, and Chicago mm -hmm. ain't opened up that lane yet. It's wide open. Okay. He like, I got Hollywood, you got the streets. They go mm -hmm. hand in hand. Let's put this shit together and do it. He told me that. I ain't really paid no attention to it. Okay. Then I'm laying in the bed with my wife and I watch Coach Steel movie. Okay. Right after his movie go off, I tell her, I'm finna write a movie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And she like, well, go and write it. I get the pen and, 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 uh, and I start writing right. right then. You know what I'm saying? I get the computer and I start writing right then. I asked her for give me two ghetto girl names. She like Tanisha, that was Queen Key name, and, mm -hmm. and I forgot the other name. But she give me the names, and I started writing. Three days later, the script was finished. Mm. I hit Alvin at Dark Mirror Films. He let Breezy uh, know. Okay. Oh, that's the lady who behind the that be yeah. behind the scenes Man. doing those shows and shit. Excellent, excellent okay. producer. Excellent. And she Breezy was, Dolls, right? Yep, yep. Okay. She had she had the Breezy Dolls, Diamond Dolls. Okay. Right? Yep. Breezy Films. She uh had lined up the, the the casting calls and took control of all that and we put that shit together, man, and it came out with a classic. The people who saw it, it's called in just like that. Mm -hmm. So when I put up for the casting call, Queen Key and all of them, they hitting me, they like, man, I wanna get in it. Mm. After everybody saw the finished product. They was like, man, I didn't expect this shit to be that good. Right. They it like, like a real movie. Yeah, they like it. It is a real it's movie. It's a real movie. Right. You know what you know, I'm like, that's a real movie. And they were saying, bro, I didn't think that I was shocked. And in my mind, I'm like, how are you shocked? Do you mm. think that I put out some bullshit? That, mm. But it, let, it just let me know that I was on or something. Then once it started trending and on the recommended page on, on, on uh, Tubi mm. and moving like that, I knew I was on to something when, I, when we sold out. Multiple viewings for the premiere. Oh, so you and did it like that. I did the premiere. Uh, so real movie way. And sold out in a week. Right. Multiple showings right. in a week was gone. I said, damn. I done made back the money and like a $10,000 profit mm. just off the premiere. Mm. Then I put it on on, on our rtstalent.com site. Okay. We selling the movie. So you got a website too. The website okay. too. That shit did another 20 some thousand mm. off of that. Then put it on Tubi and it started. I said, damn, this shit. I own the something. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm. on to something. Well, <laughs> from March to now, less than six months, mm. you'd have made a, a, almost a hundred thousand dollar profit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, I'm on to something, bro. Yeah. Get right back in there. So I say, we gotta get back in. I gotta <laughs> get the story. Let's get to it. Uh -huh. So uh, so we, we did that one and we wrapped that one up like Father, like Son. We're going to do it next year, premiere okay. and everything for that too. And then right after that, it's the movie that me and Mike Epps. Uh, I right, so y'all joined. Y'all going to do some shit? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's next. Okay, so that movie wave seemed like that's what you're going put to your, put your hands in right it's now. It's too much money. Uh, most definitely. Yeah, you know, boy, I got some lines straddling tonight. You know, I got a few questions that I think kind of tough. But, you know, I feel like I got to ask you these questions. I got the legend in here, and we need some of your wisdom on this one. For sure. Well, I want to know your opinion on this. You know, I didn't ask you plenty of questions about FBD Dub. I, yesterday, I watched an interview you had with him on a, uh, on your podcast you got with y'all at eight. You know, his murder trial is in less than 20 days. Gonna get ready and start. Right. Um, what's your mindset on that whole thing? You know, because I don't really think it's no winners in that. You know, it's gonna be any winners. Ain't no winners, but I don't know. I don't know if they did what they're mm -hmm. saying that they did. I don't. I don't know nothing about mm -hmm. the case. 
Mm-hmm. I respected Duck. Duck was like, I had a lot of love for Duck. Duck, Duck do whatever I needed him to do. You know what I'm saying? As far as with like Moo Wop them on the case, mm-hmm. they respected me. I had nothing but the utmost respect for them as well. Mm-hmm. So, because you had artists do videos out there. Yeah, we'd have been in O Block oh. a, a bunch of times. Like, I, they, they embraced me and showed me love. They've been showing me love since the beginning of my career before Keith now. You know right. what I'm saying? I was, we can go through that. But, uh, nah, nah, I don't, I don't really know. You know, I, I do know with these with these cases, the police will fabricate things, will make shit happen. I don't, so I don't really, I don't really know. And to be real, and this is just me being, giving you my honest truth, I never even looked that deep into it because right. I'm like, this is above my pay grade. I don't know. I don't even want to know. Right. If they did it or not, they never told me about nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? And, it's just an unfortunate situation, man, that we lose so many good brothers to one time, whether it be to the to the uh, grave or, or to the system. You know what I'm saying? You know, and the reason I ask that is because, you know, I had somebody tell me something that I thought was strong. They said, you know, that they dug that, the culture kind of left. Is that true in your opinion? Or? Nah, I, 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 the culture is the culture. Mm-hmm. Culture don't don't leave. The culture don't stop. It's just like the world; it keep going. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I didn't feel that the culture died. I felt that uh, a legend in the city died. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it, it was unfortunate because I had a relationship with him, his mama. You know what I'm saying? You interviewed him. Yeah, that was my man. When he was around you, you know, he he. You know, because I just interview some of these guys, and I don't see what they talk about on the internet. Right. Maybe I ain't gave them the energy to show me, but, you know, <laughs> when you was around, Doug, did you get that just a big King Kong on to hurt everybody around him? No, no. Right, the internet put that. Yeah, I got a good nigga, man, that wanted right. to do right by his family, man, and live his life and and be happy to take care of his kids. I knew him. I used to go through and he give me drops for the 2020 vision campaign right. and all that. Where he like, man, I'm finna go take these kids to the to the water park and do it. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't I didn't get that. And mm-hmm. I knew him before before he, he was even really rapping. Right. So I when I was rocking with Keith and them, I still used to have Duck come to the studio at, when they wasn't there, right. of course, and have him come to the studio and uh and show him love and embrace him. And Keith knew you knew all these people too. All of them. Because you had that on my op song. So you knew all these people. Yeah, they knew I knew that. And, and, I, and I said I rocked with them all while I shot the video on each one of their blocks. Right. But they respected that because they know I come from a genuine place. And they know they know I'm not, I never been up with no backdoor shit. So right. if they even ask me about the other side, I cut them off and I fuck with them because it, it'll show me that they didn't respect what it is that I do. But none of them never asked me nothing about the other side. Right. Never. I think that's dope. Yeah. 